What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Shakana Toy Reviews. You may notice that this is a very different setup and that's because this is a very different show. Berg is not here, this is just me coming from my work table where I modify, fix, and upgrade uh, all my toys. But in this special episode, I am going to warn you why not to buy a certain Omega Supreme. And which Omega Supreme that is, you may ask, that is DX9s. I believe they are calling him Gabriel. That's his fake name. You may also be asking yourself, why is that idiot covering his face and wearing a silly kind of mask? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first reason is it's a joke that I find kind of hilarious. Berg finds stupid. Um, we'll see if you can figure out what that joke is. I'm not going to tell you. And also because I'm still getting over having my tonsils removed and my mouth is kind of puffy and this is my excuse to cover it up. Uh, but it's more about the joke. So. Back to the DX9 Gabriel situation, why should you not buy this toy? Well, you may have or not, may not have heard that there are joint problems with him. Incredibly tight joints. First, I'm going to move Mr. Bone Crusher out of the way. And now I'm going to bring out my copy of the DX9 Gabriel. I will tell you that I do have three versions of the Masterpiece Giant Omega Supreme, uh, obviously DX9, and I do have the Fan Toys, and I also have the Weijang one. We can discuss those further, maybe, possibly, I don't know. But here is my DX9 Gabriel. Take a good look, folks, yep. Now, we will get to why there's only half of them, but the main reason, let me show you something right here. It's just a simple moving his moving his legs forward, all right? Here we go, like you get ratchets in legs usually, and that's a good thing because like a big toy like this, you're gonna want it. So let's move it one click forward, are you ready? That's the first click forward, okay? And that was not me acting like that was hard that was hard very very difficult to get get out let's get one more click forward i i can't even if he can get one click forward i don't know it's a tough push and he does have skirt flaps let's push back oh it's just so difficult now the ranches out to the side are fine and um also like that with the other leg. Boom, that one was a little easier. You can hear the giant pops in them. And that was not fun. Posing him is not good in my opinion. And almost all of his ratchets are that tight, including arms, I believe, if I can remember. Um, I'm gonna show you closer what I try to do because I did try and fix it. There was a way to fix it and it was very complicated but there were gigantic gigantic problems with it and it was because of the way that it was constructed so well, let's just go ahead and take a closer look at them all right why don't we just start with what i had to do when i was going to fix it so this is the torso area here is his top part we don't really need to discuss this right now there's nothing I really needed to do with him other than separate the two pieces. Now, this part was on top of the waist area. I believe there may have been another part under here, but but this part right here is what allowed the torso swivel, um, some of it at least. Now, down here is the front piece. Uh, there was a crotch piece here. You can see there were four screws there. Um, I can't find that piece at the moment, but if you can see, if you look on the back, it's a very similar piece, and this also needed to be removed. Now, I had to do all of this because trying to get into this area where the ratchet is. I was hoping to go in there and clip the spring or look at it and see if there was something I could do. So there's a lot of figuring out and there's a lot of screws to take out 
Lots of them were difficult, but it was something I could work through. You can see screw holes all over the place on this. There's screw holes on the piece that was below it and all of these screw holes. This, this piece was supposed to come off, I believe, uh, in, in a way so I could get under here get under here and separate it so it could get to the legs and what I had a problem with was especially when I got to these screws here I was able to get uh, either on the front here or I'm sorry either on the back here or the front when I got to these there was at least one or two that were in there so tight and drilled in there so tight that they had stripped the screw and it's so deep that there is no way to get it out. I, I tried, I mean this was a multiple hour endeavor. I tried my best to do it and there was still no way for me to get it apart. So basically I had taken apart this guy and there were parts that were stripped. The screws were not great quality one of them may have broken that's not too big of a deal for me because i do have screws of that size kind of saving grace is i believe i could probably still transform him into the base mode but at this point it really doesn't matter so that was the biggest problem with this dx9 gabriel the other issue was the hand which again is another area where the joints are extremely, extremely tight. So, let me demonstrate just the finger here. Hear that? The top part here isn't that bad, it's a softer ratchet. That is, that is a, way too tight for a finger. Just, you can hear it out, oh, what's that one? No ratchet in that one at this, cause it snapped. It was so tight it snapped. All right, now let's just compare that to Fan's Toys hand, all right? Nice tight ratchets, but not extremely tight. You can still hear kind of loud clicking, but that's nothing compared to this noisy bastard. So, needless to say, I was so, so disappointed. I bought this guy for a couple of reasons. First, when he was first announced, he was announced a little bit after or around the same time as Fans Toys. Now, Fans Toys looked great, um, but he was more expensive. Gabriel here was a cheaper option, and I liked his look a little bit better, and his articulation seemed better. If you look here, especially at the head, he can look up and down and all around, and that's great. I mean, that's great. It's great for posability and everything. But unfortunately, the other quality issues that he had just overshadowed the positives about him. And when your toy, not only when you try to fix it and it's put together so tightly, but it also like breaks. I mean, it's put together so tight, it will break. If you have this guy already, that's fine. If you still want to go ahead and get him and you feel like you want to take that chance, that's fine. But I am saying that I looked online and there were other people that had this problem with the legs and people that also tried to fix it and I think fixed it successfully. So bottom line is that this toy upset me so much and I feel was such poor quality that I am never buying another DX9 figure again. That just put me off totally, which is very unfortunate because I felt that their earlier offerings like their Rekgar, I think it was called Splinter, was very good. I bought two of those. Their Rodimus Prime or Hot Rod, great toy, great toy. But I feel over the years, instead of getting better, they've actually been on a decline. So that's very unfortunate. And this guy, for the amount of money, should not have had any kind of these problems. If you've bought him, I hope you enjoy him. I'm not saying that, that you're an idiot or anything. If you haven't bought him, I personally highly suggest you avoid him. The Wee Zhang one would be my preferred one. He's my favorite. He was my toy of the year. He's cheaper still than the Fans Toys one, and he comes with cooler stuff and does a lot cooler things, like his tank actually moves around the track, kind of like the old toy. 
very cool. You may be saying to yourself, oh, this guy's an idiot. He don't know what he's fucking talking about. He's covering his face, blah, blah, blah. You can say I fucked the toy up myself. Maybe I did. But tight screws and everything like that are always a problem with third-party toys. But this was horrible. And the finger especially, it broke because I just moved it. So that's just my warning. I'm telling you... I do not recommend DX9's Omega Supreme slash Gabriel slash piece of crap. I know they've all been out a while. This is probably not the timeliest video, but I did want to go ahead and share this. I've been meaning to do it for a while. We meant to do an Omega Supreme review of at least one of them. And we never got around to it, unfortunately. So that's been it for this episode. I hope you learned something. I hope you at least got some kind of value or entertainment out of this. If you watched a little bit of it or all of it, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm sure Berg will and you love this video. I actually doubt I'll even watch it. Thank you to all our Patreon supporters, patreon.com slash shockin'outtoyreviews, where you can get access to exclusive content if you feel like donating. And visit all the social media stuff down in the show notes. So until next time, hopefully I will be feeling even better and I will be with Berg reviewing another toy that he will probably hate.